The compound hydrogen chloride has the chemical formula HCl and as such is a hydrogen halide. At room temperature, it is a colorless gas, which forms white fumes of hydrochloric acid upon contact with atmospheric water vapor. Hydrogen chloride gas and hydrochloric acid are important in technology and industry. Hydrochloric acid, the aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride, is also commonly given the formula HCl. Chemistry Hydrogen chloride is a diatomic molecule, consisting of a hydrogen atom H and a chlorine atom Cl connected by a polar covalent bond. The chlorine atom is much more electronegative than the hydrogen atom, which makes this bond polar. Consequently, the molecule has a large dipole moment with a negative partial charge delta minus at the chlorine atom and a positive partial charge delta plus at the hydrogen atom. In part because of its high polarity, HCl is very soluble in water and in other polar solvents. Upon contact, H2O and HCl combine to form hydronium cations H3O plus and chloride anions Cl through a reversible chemical reaction. HCl plus H2O H3O plus plus Cl minus the resulting solution is called hydrochloric acid and is a strong acid. The acid dissociation or ionization constant, Ka, is large, which means HCl dissociates or ionizes practically completely in water. Even in the absence of water, hydrogen chloride can still act as an acid. For example, hydrogen chloride can dissolve in certain other solvents such as methanol and protonate molecules or ions, and can also serve as an acid catalyst for chemical reactions where anhydrous water-free conditions are desired. HCl plus CH3O HCH3O plus H2 plus Cl minus because of its acidic nature, hydrogen chloride is a corrosive substance, particularly in the presence of moisture. Structure and properties Frozen HCl undergoes phase transition at 98.4 kx ray powder diffraction of the frozen material shows that the material changes from an orthorhombic structure to a cubic one during this transition. In both structures the chlorine atoms are in a phase-centered array. However, the hydrogen atoms could not be located. Analysis of spectroscopic and dielectric data, and determination of the structure of DCl deuterium chloride, indicates that HCl forms zigzag chains in the solid, as does HF see figure on right. The infrared spectrum of gaseous hydrogen chloride, shown on the left, consists of a number of sharp absorption lines grouped around 2,886 cm-1, wavelength approximately 3.47 micrometers. At room temperature, almost all molecules are in the ground vibrational state V equals zero. Including anharmonicity the vibrational energy can be written as E B I B equals H nu E V plus one two plus H X E new E V plus one Two. Two. Display style e underscore mathrm viv equals h new underscore e c d o t left v plus t f r a c one two right plus h x underscore e new underscore e c d o t left v plus t f r a c one two right caret two. To promote an H C L molecule from the v. Zero to the V. One state, we would expect to see an infrared absorption about nu O. Nu E plus 2Z nu E. 2880 cm minus 1. 
However, this absorption corresponding to the Q branch is not observed due to it being forbidden by symmetry. Instead, two sets of signals P and R branches are seen owing to a simultaneous change in the rotational state of the molecules. Because of quantum mechanical selection rules, only certain rotational transitions are permitted. The states are characterized by the rotational quantum number J equals 0, 1, 2, 3. Selection rules state that delta J is only able to take values of plus or minus 1. E J R O T equals H B J J plus one Display style E J underscore Mathem rot equals H C D O T B C D O T J J plus one the value of the rotational constant B is much smaller than the vibrational 1 nu O, such that a much smaller amount of energy is required to rotate the molecule. For a typical molecule, this lies within the microwave region. However, the vibrational energy of HCl molecule places its absorptions within the infrared region, allowing a spectrum showing the row vibrational transitions of this molecule to be easily collected using an infrared spectrometer with a gas cell. The latter can even be made of quartz as the HCl absorption lies in a window of transparency for this material. Naturally abundant chlorine consists of two isotopes, 35 Cl and 37 Cl, in a ratio of approximately 3 to 1. While the spring constants are identical within experimental error, the reduced masses are different causing measurable differences in the rotational energy, thus doublets are observed on close inspection of each absorption line, weighted in the same ratio of 3 to 1. Production Most hydrogen chloride produced on an industrial scale is used for hydrochloric acid production. Direct synthesis in the chlor alkali industry, brine mixture of sodium chloride and water solution is electrolyzed, producing chlorine Cl2, sodium hydroxide, and hydrogen H2. 2 sodium chloride plus 2 H2O Cl2 plus 2 NaOH plus H2. The pure chlorine gas can be combined with hydrogen to produce hydrogen chloride in the presence of UV light. Cl2 G plus H2 G 2 HCl G. As the reaction is exothermic, the installation is called an HCl oven or HCl burner. The resulting hydrogen chloride gas is absorbed in deionized water, resulting in chemically pure hydrochloric acid. This reaction can give a very pure product, e.g. for use in the food industry. Organic synthesis the largest production of hydrochloric acid is integrated with the formation of chlorinated and fluorinated organic compounds, e.g., Teflon, Freon, and other CFCs, as well as chloroacetic acid and PVC. Often this production of hydrochloric acid is integrated with captive use of it on site. In the chemical reactions, hydrogen atoms on the hydrocarbon are replaced by chlorine atoms, whereupon the released hydrogen atom recombines with the spare atom from the chlorine molecule, forming hydrogen chloride. Fluorination is a subsequent chlorine replacement reaction, producing again hydrogen chloride. R H plus Cl2 R Cl plus HCl. R minus Cl plus HF R minus F plus HCl The resulting hydrogen chloride gas is either reused directly or absorbed in water, resulting in hydrochloric acid of technical or industrial grade. Laboratory methods Small amounts of HCl gas for laboratory use can be generated in an HCl generator by dehydrating hydrochloric acid with either sulfuric acid or anhydrous calcium chloride. Alternatively, HCl can be generated by the reaction of sulfuric acid with sodium chloride. Sodium chloride plus H2SO4 sodium hydrogen sulfate plus HCl This reaction occurs at room temperature. 
provided there is sodium chloride remaining in the generator and it is heated above 200 degrees Celsius, the reaction proceeds further. Sodium chloride plus sodium hydrogen sulfate HCl plus sodium sulfate for such generators to function, the reagents should be dry. HCl can also be prepared by the hydrolysis of certain reactive chloride compounds such as phosphorus chlorides, thionyl chloride SOCl2, and acyl chlorides. For example, cold water can be gradually dripped onto phosphorus pentachloride, phosphorus pentachloride, to give HCl, Phosphorus pentachloride plus H2O POCl3 plus 2 HCl high purity streams of the gas require lecture bottles or cylinders, both of which can be expensive. In comparison, the use of a generator requires only apparatus and materials commonly available in a laboratory. Applications Most hydrogen chloride is used in the production of hydrochloric acid. It is also an important reagent in other industrial chemical transformations, e.g. Hydrochlorination of rubber Production of vinyl and alkyl chlorides in the semiconductor industry, it is used to both etch semiconductor crystals and to purify silicon via trichlorosilane in the laboratory, anhydrous forms of the gas are particularly useful for generating chloride-based Lewis acids, which must be absolutely dry for their Lewis sites to function. It can also be used to dry the corresponding hydrated forms of these materials by passing it over as they are heated. The materials would otherwise fume HCl gas themselves and decompose. Neither of these hydrates can be dried using standard desiccator methods. History Alchemists of the Middle Ages recognized that hydrochloric acid then known as spirit of salt or acidum salis released vaporous hydrogen chloride, which was called marine acid air. In the 17th century, Johann Rudolf Glauber used salt sodium chloride, and sulfuric acid for the preparation of sodium sulfate, releasing hydrogen chloride gas see production, below. In 1772, Carl Wilhelm Scheele also reported this reaction and is sometimes credited with its discovery. Joseph Priestley prepared hydrogen chloride in 1772, and in 1810 Humphrey Davy established that it is composed of hydrogen and chlorine. During the Industrial Revolution, demand for alkaline substances such as soda ash increased, and Nicolas Leblanc developed a new industrial scale process for producing the soda ash. In the Leblanc process, salt was converted to soda ash, using sulfuric acid, limestone, and coal, giving hydrogen chloride as byproduct. Initially, this gas was vented to air, but the Alkali Act of 1863 prohibited such release, so then soda ash producers absorbed the HCl waste gas in water, producing hydrochloric acid on an industrial scale. Later, the Hargreaves process was developed, which is similar to the Leblanc process except sulfur dioxide, water, and air are used instead of sulfuric acid in a reaction which is exothermic overall. In the early 20th century the Leblanc process was effectively replaced by the Solvay process, which did not produce HCl. However, hydrogen chloride production continued as a step in hydrochloric acid production. Historical uses of hydrogen chloride in the 20th century include hydrochlorinations of alkynes in producing the chlorinated monomers chloroprene and vinyl chloride, which are subsequently polymerized to make polychloroprene neoprene and polyvinyl chloride PVC, respectively. In the production of vinyl chloride, acetylene C2H2, is hydrochlorinated by adding the HCl across the triple bond of the C2H2 molecule, turning the triple into a double bond, yielding vinyl chloride. The acetylene process, used until the 1960s for making chloroprene, starts out by joining two acetylene molecules, and then adds HCl to the joined intermediate across the triple bond to convert it to chloroprene as shown here. This acetylene process has been replaced by a process which adds Cl2 to one of the double bonds in 1,3-butadiene instead, and subsequent elimination produces HCl instead, as well as chloroprene. Safety Hydrogen chloride forms corrosive hydrochloric acid on contact with water found in body tissue. 
Inhalation of the fumes can cause coughing, choking, inflammation of the nose, throat, and upper respiratory tract, and in severe cases, pulmonary edema, circulatory system failure, and death. Skin contact can cause redness, pain, and severe skin burns. Hydrogen chloride may cause severe burns to the eye and permanent eye damage. The gas, being strongly hydrophilic, can be easily scrubbed from the exhaust gases of a reaction by bubbling it through water, producing useful hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. Any equipment handling hydrogen chloride gas must be checked on a routine basis, particularly valve stems and regulators. The gas requires the use of specialized materials on all wetted parts of the flow path, as it will interact with or corrode numerous materials hydrochloric acid alone will not, such as stainless and regular polymers. The U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health have established occupational exposure limits for hydrogen chloride at a ceiling of 5 ppm 7 mg per cubic meter, and compiled extensive information on hydrogen chloride workplace safety concerns. See also chloride, inorganic salts of hydrochloric acid Gastric acid, hydrochloric acid secreted into the stomach to aid digestion of proteins Hydrochloride, organic salts of hydrochloric acid References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0163 Thames and Cosmos Chem C. 2000 Experiment Manual